Hello, my name is Kara and I work with the Pikes Peak Library District's Special Collections. Special Collections is where we keep our archives, which are home to photographs, documents, books, and other materials of historic significance. In this video, I will show you how you can access our photo archives online and search for specific photographs or topics. Accessing PPLD's photo archives is easy. First, visit ppld.org, the library's homepage. Next, hover your mouse over Research and click on Regional History. Scroll down the page to Regional History Resources and click on PPLD Digital Collections. Notice that there is a PPLD Photo Archives option. This will take you to an overview page with a little bit more information about the photo archives. This also includes information on how to request a digital or print copy of a photograph and also an FAQ page. But to access the photos directly, we're gonna go ahead and click on Digital Collections. Here we are in Digital Collections. Now it's time to find some photos. There are a couple of ways to get started. First, you can browse. From the main page, you can view images grouped by collection. This includes Myron Woods photographs, Gazette photograph collections, historic sites and structures, and much more. You may notice that digital collection includes other materials like maps, video and audio recordings, and city directories. Click on the name of a collection to learn a little bit more about its contents. Then click browse to look through all the items in that collection. In addition to browsing, we can also search. If you are looking for a specific topic, location, person, etc., you can search for it. We can either perform a basic search or an advanced search. For a basic search, enter a search term in the search box located in the upper right corner of the page to search digital collections for photographs matching those terms. A search term is a word that is used to describe the photo. It could include items, people, buildings in the photograph, the photographer's name, or the location where the photo was taken. We can also perform an advanced search. Under the search box located in the upper right corner of the page, click on Advanced Search. From here, you can select collections to include or exclude from your search. This allows you to choose specific collections you'd like to include in your search results, or if you know there's a collection you don't want included in those results, you can remove it here. You can also search with multiple search terms for different fields by clicking Add Row. When using more than one row, you can select AND, OR, OR to look for two or multiple terms together, or either term. I'm going to put a couple of search terms in these boxes now so we can view those results in a moment. We can also search for photo photographs on, after, or before a year, or between a range of years. Here are our search results. Now we can limit the results using filters. You can filter by collection, subject, photographer, location, date, and more. Searches can be sorted by relevance, title, subject, or description. This will bring certain photographs to the top of your search results. You can also change the view to either a list, which we see here, or to a grid. And you can decide how many results you want displayed on each page. When you see a photo you like, click on that search result to see a larger image and more details. I hope you enjoyed this video and wish you the best of luck as you explore our archives.